Hey YouTube, it's Thomas here. So today I'm going to talk about one of the most debated speaker online, uh, which is the Bose Cube. So if you go on forums, you'll see that people will be arguing back and forth. Some will argue that this is, these are not real tweeters. Uh, the subwoofer unit is not a real sub because it doesn't go very low in frequency. But for those who don't know what these are, these are actually home theater speakers. Uh, the unit comes with five cubes like this and uh, uh, a subwoofer. Now, I find the design pretty interesting. You have this ability to twist left and right. You put it on a stand, sound will go left and right, and they'll bounce off the walls to create this uh, big sound stage. I, I actually find the design pretty cool. It's very small, very versatile. You can mount them on ceiling, mount them on walls, uh, put them on speakers like I do. And uh, yeah, for somebody in a small apartment, it's actually really good. Uh, in my setup, eh, I have a home theater, so unfortunately it's not powerful enough to handle my home theater. But yet, I still use it uh, for every one movie out of ten. Uh, just because of one thing, it's a lot of fun with these speakers. Now, because I don't have it permanently set up, uh, when I list, use these speakers, I actually have them placed very close to me. So the dialogues are very clear, the effects are very noticeable you know when an airplane flies from left to right behind me I'll, I'll hear it really really clear now i have a few friends who uh who actually own these two they also uh, some of them do own expensive speakers and yet they chose these bows because uh, as they mentioned and i agree they're a lot of fun yes they will not reach uh, earth shattering base and i have experience with subwoofer myself right i have over 10 subwoofers uh, in my life, um, I have about four in my house right now. I play with SVS subwoofers. So yes, I know what you're talking about, guys, when you say that that's not a real subwoofer. But it's still a lot of fun. That's all I can say. So should you buy it? Uh, let's put it this way. They're dirt cheap on the used market. I once got it for 30 bucks for five of these. It didn't have the subwoofer unit, but, uh, you know, it was dirt cheap. You can get these for maybe 100, 200 bucks now. Oh, not maybe 100, maybe about 200 bucks Canadian on the used market. And uh, yeah, that's why I bought it. I, it, it. This was actually one of my dream speaker when I first started my audio, my home theater journey. And uh, I would go audition them every two weeks at Future Shop. Um, so that's why now that I see them so cheap on the, on the used market, I, I just had to pick one up, really spend some time with it. And uh, yeah, it didn't disappoint me. So should you buy it? If you have a very small room uh, and all you're gonna do with it is play games or watch movie, yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're, they're not high quality sound, meaning that uh, if you're gonna listen to music with them, I would say, it's okay if 10% of your time is spent on listening to music, right? Um, well, then again, it depends how picky you are. I myself find them a bit fatiguing. I uh, compare them to other uh, home theater units too, like the small, small ones. Uh, my, my preference is the Anthony Gallus uh, Micro, uh, but then again, those are very expensive uh, small home theater speakers, right? So it's not really a fair comparison. Um, but if you ever hear uh, more high-end home theater speakers, uh, yes, uh, this will not keep up. But that's not where its strength is. Its strength, I don't know why, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, that's my actually quick impressions on them. Uh, till next time.